tell me why I cut a whole fucking lock out my head. It's been a mess. These men's is so messy. We can also put our feet up. Child. I'm going to be having a ball in this chair. Y'all, we came out to smoke some hoops. And guess who has the hookah? Hey, look here, look here. First of all, I want to welcome all y'all broke ass entrepreneurs to the Players Club. DJ. Hey, y'all. It's your girl TV, also known as Ty Valiant. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Y'all, it's Sunday. I started taking down my hair. Um, I'm still on Cloud Nine from my last vlog when I went to uh, the Judy Dropping Knowledge Tour. Um, so y'all please go back and y'all watch that all the way to the end. Um, but yes, so I am up now. It's 11. I did not go to uh, church this morning again. Lord, I just been sleeping in y'all. And I actually tried to turn church on the TV. Um, but I couldn't hear it. I don't know if there's something going on with their uh, broadcasting system. But I could not hear it. So now I'm just about to probably turn on sisters um and continue to take down my hair i was ready for these to come out y'all i think the the um the older that the locks got the heavier it weighed on my head and i just could taking them off i probably won't get these no more even though they was cute but they just it was just too long and too heavy for me honestly like ah my neck just now feeling lighter like honestly and I think I had these in my head for a little bit over a month. So my new growth is really, really long. I can't wait to y'all see how my locks look now. Um, but yeah, y'all, good morning. I hope y'all starting off Sunday productive, better than I am. Um, um, what I'm getting ready to do. I don't got nothing planned today but to clean this house. Y'all, my man, my man, my man. I love that man to death. He may get on my nerves, but that's my boo-boo. I look downstairs. He already started washing clothes for me. He done washed the dishes. It's just like, thank you, Lord, for this man. We've been through hell and back, but thank you, God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Him just picking up my slack when I don't do it, when I have stuff going on, it really, like, warms my heart to know, like, I got a man who can help me. You know, we help each other, but it's just like stuff like that. I'll be like, ooh, hey, daddy. Like, <laughs> like that really, like, if you a, a woman that likes to take care of her home and stuff like that, to have a man help you around it. And he do this a lot, y'all, but it just, even still, how many times he done did it, it warms my heart every time he does it. But again, y'all about to sit here and take down my hair. Um, and that's it. I took my detox this morning. I woke up and took my detox. I've been doing pretty good. I do feel lighter. Um, so yeah, y'all. We still on the countdown to try to lose this damn weight. Um, I'm prob I want to go to the gym today. But I ain't going to lie to y'all and say that I'm going. Because like I said, I got stuff to do around this house. So... I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why I cut a whole fucking lock out my head. Tell me why I cut a whole fucking lock out. Look how long my fucking lock done got, first of all. But I cut a whole lock out. So, y'all, yeah, I had to call my hairstylist and make sure she can reapply because I was about to cry. Y'all, look at this shit. Hold on, where is it at? Look at this shit. Hey, y'all. So, I haven't talked to y'all since I told y'all that I cut a damn lock out my head. Um, I was at a loss for words. But I did contact my stylist and she said she can reattach it. So, I'm happy about that. Um... I just got done putting my um my um office together, cleaned it or whatever for the start of the week. Y'all, 
Look at my new chair Joe bought me. I'm so happy. Y'all know I've been wanting another chair because it's been hurting my back. So he finally got me another chair. And y'all, look at it. Not only does it has a massage thing, we can also put our feet up. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> we can also put our feet up. Child. <laughs> I'm going to be having a ball in this chair. And it feels so good when I sit in it too. Oh my God. So yeah, y'all. That's what we about to do. Um, We about to write in our calendar. Get our content together for the week. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm still in my office. It just, it's about to be 9. It's 8.54. So I just want to come back on here and say goodnight. And I'll see y'all in the morning. And I really ain't doing nothing today for real. But that's why I see y'all some more. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy Monday. Y'all will go super sad today. It's like 11.40 a.m. Baby, I'm sad. I'm in my robe and my bonnet still. Um, this month I've been struggling at getting up to go to the gym. We probably been a 5 a.m. gym girly. I can count on my hands maybe two, three times this month. Like y'all, it's been a struggle for me to get up. I don't know what it is. Somebody on Instagram was like, I think uh, March got melatonin. March very well has melatonin in it. <laughs> Happy, what's today? Tuesday, y'all. Y'all, so my camera had needed to be free of some storage. So my storage was filled. So I'm just now cleaning up some more videos. Y'all know I've been on the same memory card for a while now. So that's what happens when you vlog a lot and you have a lot of footage that you already use. I just have to clear it out. So again, happy Tuesday. Y'all, I'm downstairs. This house is a mess. Um, but I got to get it together because we actually have people coming. Today is the day that our air conditioner gets put, put in, y'all. Um, and what a coincidence on a the day they come that it's 64 degrees outside. That's why y'all see me in this little jacket. I'm fully dressed, got socks on and everything because it is freezing in this house. So, um, I guess it's good too because our heat and our AC is a package unit. So, um, I can't use the heat either. But yeah, I'm getting ready to uh, clean up around this house, y'all. I ain't even gonna show y'all this downstairs. Like, remember I was telling y'all Joe had um, was cook. I mean, wash dishes and fold and wash clothes. That's all he did. He ain't fold the clothes and put up the clothes. They're still down here in his in this basket, honey. So yeah, y'all. And y'all, I'm still like I can't believe I cut my hair. Um. I look at this shit y'all like I'm still so blue but thank god my stylist said that she can reattach so um Saturday we actually got an appointment but y'all my hair done grew so long so long so long I am so happy um but yeah I'm talking y'all off let me get to cleaning this damn house hey y'all so it is a little later i'm about to log out of work um y'all they is still here sorry i got this home because it's cold it's cold in here they are still here um working on my ac unit i did get a new unit so they did put it up so i'm happy about that um so i am actually waiting for them to uh, go so i can go and do what I need to do. We do got to go pick up new arrivals. We do have to um, go to the gym. So, yeah. Right now, I'm about to go downstairs and possibly... Well, <laughs> let me stop saying possibly. I'm about to go downstairs and... Um, we going to season us this meat so I can cook it later. I did wash the dishes and stuff and clean the downstairs. Um, earlier my work is done um, I need to start on the vlog tonight because I want to get it up by Thursday today is Tuesday so 
Yeah, I want to get my vlog done. Okay. This is it, y'all. I'm kind of tired. I took my pre, half of my pre-workout this morning. That's probably what I'm going to have to start doing. Like, taking my pre-workout, like, half of it in the morning so I can have energy. Because, baby, I done had energy today. I did. I had energy today. Sorry, y'all. I don't got my stuff on the stand. So, it's kind of like... Oh, shit. I don't got my stuff on the stand. For real. Hopefully, y'all can see me. Hold on, let me go get my stand. All right, I ain't get my stand, but it's sitting up right. I don't feel like going upstairs anyways. So y'all, let's wash our hands. We gonna season the chicken. Oh. We gonna season this chicken real good, honey. Hold on, let me go wash my hands. So y'all, let's chat a little bit. Um, yeah, am I the only one that's like disconnected from the people that they work with? Even though like I work from home, um, I'm just so disconnected from just the people that I work with. Like I have no connection to them. Um, there's one lady that, you know, I thought was okay or all right. She has rubbed me the wrong way a, 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 a few times. Um, the first time she helped me with something and then, uh, she put her name on, on my work as if she just be everything. But really I was reaching out for her for help because I didn't know how to do it. And that's another thing. Like I'm new, it'll be a year for me, like in this, um, space that I'm in, but y'all, I'm still working my other position. So it's just like, it'll be a year, but I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'm still learning. So that was the one thing she did. She like put her name on some stuff that she helped me with. So that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then the last thing she did was, um, we, it was so, I had my, our boss basically changed position. So my super, the person that was my supervisor is now my manager. My manager is now like higher. Or whatever so um the super the manager that got promoted higher she was like distributing some of her work to people because she's no longer gone you know she's higher so like she was doing like birthdays and stuff like that like sending out birthday emails because we celebrate birthdays y'all long story short i um volunteered basically to be the person the main person that sent out birthday um emails and contributions and stuff like that and the girl she um volunteered to be my backup and so she had went on a week's vacation or whatever cool but i had noticed she had a person on my calendar because she took the initiative and put everybody's birthday but all their birthdays on each of our calendars this was cool okay thank you so I seen this name on the calendar that we never celebrated him before and his name is not actual on the birthday list that my boss sent over. So I had reached out to my boss and was like, hey, you know, this person is not on the list, but you know, such and such put this person on my calendar. You know, are we celebrating this person's birthday just to confirm because he was not on the original list he sent over. So my boss was like, oh no, we don't celebrate him. He's basically like a contractor you know, or a consultant, we don't celebrate consultants, just our team members. Like, you know, he worked for the team, but he's a consultant. So I'm like, okay, cool. So this is when she was gone. Now, nothing in me was just like, oh, let me write this girl and tell her that we don't celebrate this man's birthday because I'm the head person. I'm the one that sent out the emails. The only time she's back up is if if somebody's somebody if it's my birthday like i'm the next person's birthday and two if i'm gone so nothing in me was just like oh let me tear this girl because i shouldn't have to i'm the main person so this girl gets back y'all two days into it and she sends out the email for this person now why i think this is shady and slided is because one you're the backup and two if you haven't seen that the main person has sent out the email 
why wouldn't you one reach out to me and say hey are you going to send this email do you need me to do it to consult with me any type of way you just take the initiative and just send it out not knowing that my boss already had told me to don't send this birthday list out so it just like she do stuff like that i don't know if she wants to be seen i don't know if she wants recognition but i feel like when people do stuff like that they want their name and they you know doing stuff it's not that they are you're trying to be helpful at this point i feel like you're trying to be seen. You're trying to be noticed. Now, that's just my insight. Y'all let me know, you know, what is it? Because I feel like it's one thing you're trying to help people. But I th in this instance, I feel like you were just trying to beat me to the punch. Or you were trying to just say that you did it. And it's like, it was no reason for you to do it. So, I instantly wrote her and just let her know, like, hey, we want post to send out that email. So, now, it's just like... You just did something you weren't supposed to do. You 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 just did something you wasn't supposed to do. Um, and I told her, I'm like, you know what? Going forward, you can be the main person or whatever. Because it's like, at this point, you can do it. Like, I don't want to be feeling like, oh, I got to hurry up and work to send out something out. Because this person, go I don't want to do none of that. I want to be peace at work. I literally log in, do my work, and mind my business, y'all. I don't deal with nobody no more. I don't even ask her for help anymore. Like, I stay to myself. It just be like, I just do not like dealing with stuff like that. Like, it really makes me uneasy as a person because I'm just like so like energetic and bubbly and stuff. And when people do stuff, I feel like she's intentionally doing stuff. And that just could be her personality. Maybe she likes to be seen. I don't know. But it just like... <sighs> I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, y'all y'all let me know if I'm just overthinking it, but I don't like it at all. So it's just like today um, is this other girl. She put us in a group message and I just I just really be trying to stay to myself. I don't want to talk. I don't want to chat. I, I, I really just I want to be in my little shell and I want to do my little work. And if I need help with anything, I will reach out to the people. Yeah. I would reach out to them and ask them because I don't have no trouble with them. I don't. And it could be because <laughs> I, I look like, no, nah, I'm just playing. But I had no trouble with them. Ever. So I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know if I'm tweaking of any kind. But yeah, I just been kind of keeping my distance. But other than that, work has been good, y'all. Um, today I was, like I told y'all, more motivated than I have been this week. And y'all, today is only fucking what? Tuesday. But still, I just be like, I just want people to leave me alone. Don't ask me what I got going on. Don't act like none of that. Like, don't ask me if I want to be on a project. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to do nothing. No more than what I got going on. And yes, I would love to move up and stuff and do time. But right now, all the stuff that I got on my plate, I just I just got promoted last year. I'm good. I am good. Like, I'm good. So, yeah, y'all. Just dealing with that. Dealing with people that I really don't want to deal with no more. Because, like I said, y'all, she... That girl really rubbed me the wrong way. And what's crazy is like, I have, I trained her. Like, for her to move up, like, I was the one to train her. She got hired in at the position that we're doing now, but I trained her, you know, because you have to learn my position that I got promoted from last year, and then you go to this position, and then you go hire her, hire her, like that. But, like, I trained her, so it's just like, all the stuff that she didn't, she didn't catch on in the beginning, I would never put my name on her stuff or, you know, be like, oh, well, we took this amount of time, so let me put my name on it because I, I basically did it. Like, no, I would never do that to somebody if I'm helping them if they don't get it. But, like I said, y'all, it always be our kind that just be finicky acting. And, and I just be wanting to stay to myself, honestly and truly. So, there's that. But yeah, I'm seasoning this meat. So, when I get back from the gym or whatever, I can uh, 
Put throw these in the oven and you're going. I'm hungry too. After this, I need I'm gonna go upstairs and uh pack these orders that I need to pack. Yeah, y'all. But anyways, that was my little TED talk. Um, I'll let y'all know once I get ready to leave out. Yeah, look at my snack. Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to get my last order out. It's acting. My printer is acting so crazy. Ugh, I'm just trying to get these orders out so I can go, honey. promise that's all i'm trying to do y'all so once i pack these orders up we're going damn it's about to be five o'clock i've been sitting for an hour trying to pack we gonna go to uh drop these orders off and then um go pick up inventory Yes. Yes. Is this fucking order gonna print now? Okay, y'all. Yeah. Y'all, so I dropped off the orders. I'm walking into the mall now. Um, y'all, I'm scared. This police officer just sitting back right there. I wonder if he see my plate. <laughs> four days so i missed a day with 80 i missed a day with 85 i missed a day with 90 and i missed a day with 95 so y'all count that up and tomorrow i got 100 so i'm trying to catch up i still got 175 squats left so y'all pray for me child because that's all i did and i'm tired i did 100 squats on the sauna i did i don't even know how many on the um using a machine with the weights and then I just did the RDL squat thingies so pray for me y'all my back like it's down out y'all I don't know why I turned this camera on this music was loud as fuck hey y'all happy what's today Wednesday Happy Wednesday, y'all. I've been stressed okay. yeah. out. Um, the people came today to do the roof. Um, and I should bring up these pictures and show y'all what they did to my unit. Now, the air is working. Everything is working. I got a brand new unit. But the installation of it all, y'all, these people been having me stressed out this whole week. Let me show y'all these pictures of how they just do my unit up there so like i don't know if y'all can see can y'all see a little bit y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see but basically they threw the unit up there the installation part of it 
it's horrible it looked like some arts and crafts and so the only way i found out is because the roofer that's up there fixing my roof as well uh took pictures of it and showed me so i haven't picked up the camera or nothing because i've been trying to get that together y'all they didn't tell me that they was gonna have to come back on monday after the roof has dried so the, the people for the air can cut like it just it's been a mess these men's is so messy it don't make no sense from the contractor for the roof for the contractor with the ac unit they just call them off on back and forth talking about each other like it's 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 it's, it's crazy it ain't got messy like y'all all i want is my air <laughs> that's all i was telling them like that's all i want is my air i really don't care how y'all get it done just get it done so at the gym trying to decompress because y'all know work was cool like i just want to get in work out i got 100 squats to do i already did 25 i'm about to do 25 in the sauna y'all your girl is crest okay but just updating y'all um what else it's 4 30 i logged out logged out around three uh, so yeah I look a mess, but I'm here. We gonna hurry up and work out so we can get back home, edit a vlog, and uh, we gotta take pictures for new arrivals on Friday. We did, however, already start like the site. The only thing I will have to add in is the pictures. So like, we already put the word in and the price and stuff. We just need to insert the pictures. So after that, that'll be ready to go checking in with y'all. I'll talk to y'all once I start working out. Hey y'all, so I made it home. I'm sitting at my desk editing. I just got done eating dinner. Um, I ain't doing nothing for the rest of the night. So just coming on here to close this portion of the vlog. And I will see y'all manyada. Peace. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I know I have not talked to y'all since Wednesday. I apologize y'all and this sun sorry about the sun it is literally like just turned eight it just turned eight but let me just like catch y'all up before I start telling y'all where I'm on my way to and I'm driving kind of slow because the camera's on the dashboard and it's not secure so y'all it's been a long week for me um it's been a long week for me so i don't know if i told y'all but y'all know i had trouble with the ac well i did tell y'all i've been having trouble with my ac so i had to get a whole new ac unit so on top of the ac unit 
Um, what else needed to be done is basically um, the roofing. So the roofing had to be plastered again just in case it was leaked from the people putting in the AC unit that just put across from the HOA. So y'all, the HOA people really, let me just hold the camera because I'm just gonna drive slow and just gonna prolong me from getting where I need to go. The HOA um, people that just protocol that um, our contractors have to basically come out and make sure like the people putting in the AC is doing it correctly. So long story short, my AC unit was not put in correctly. This thing called the doghouse Literally, it was just thrown up there. And I'll try to insert some pictures so y'all can see. Um, it was just thrown up there. And so, like, it's been a whole, like, bitch fit between the contractor doing the roofing and the contractor doing the H AC. So, like, they literally going back and forth. So, the only reason I know what the... Because my unit's on my roof. The only reason that I know what the unit looks like on the roof is because the roofer actually took a picture of it and sent it to me. So... I feel like had not the roofer told me about it or said anything that the uh, AC people had would have not been like, oh, well, we ran out of material because that's their excuse. We ran out of material and um, we wasn't able to fix it. So we're come Monday because I had to call them and ask them. So, OK, are y'all coming back Monday? Because y'all haven't communicated with me that but y'all told the roofer. So it was just like, uh, it, it's been so messy, y'all. It's been extremely messy. And dealing with men, and I'm a woman that really don't know what the fuck is going on, has been so irritating to me. It's, it's giving me real bad anxiety, and I've been really stressed out about it. Like, it's been giving me real bad anxiety. And y'all, like, Joe is not able like to take care of some of these things like he pops in but his hours so it's like since i'm the main one at home it's like i am the first point of contact and so it has been a lot of stress on me um so long story short they put in the ac unit wrong lord behold the next day y'all it started raining and basically it's like watermarks um, in our bedroom now from them not installing the AC. Now get this, it has rained plenty of times. We done had AC all the times we live here except for these last two weeks and this has never happened. So of course we're all thinking, okay, well it gotta be the AC people. Like what else could it be? Y'all didn't install this AC room, but I inserted a clip so y'all can see what the bedroom looks like. So that's yet another stressor that I have to go through. And then on top, fuck, I miss my fucking siren. And then on top of that, y'all, um, fuck, I'm gonna have to turn. God dang it. And then on top of that, y'all, the roofer and the AC people is still going back and forth on who fault it is, right? So basically, what the roofer is telling me because I haven't heard from the AC people. What the roofer is telling me is basically that, um, no, I take that back. I did hear from the AC people when I reached out and I told them that it was leaking. And they're adamant that the, where the AC is leaking at, that uh, where water is, that the AC is not right there. But that doesn't mean that water cannot travel to those spots. Okay, so that's that. So basically, like I said, the roof run AC people is going back up who's responsible. Me, I just don't, I don't give a fuck who's responsible. I just know that the roof needs to get fixed so it don't be no more leakages. And then somebody needs to come and they need to paint my bedroom. Like, that's all I'm worried about. Like, as far as who's responsible, y'all can take that up with y'all fucking selves and figure that shit out. Because that's not on me, the homeowner. So, y'all, I just been going through a lot, and I just ha have not been having the energy to pick up the camera and bitch at y'all about what I'm bitching at them about at that point until now. Because I'm just like, okay, let me tell my people what's going on because I have been missing the action for the last few days. Rightfully so, because it's like I'm dealing with all this bullshit by myself. And then it's just like, I got to relay messages from the from the, the roofer and the AC to Joe. And then Joe have questions. I got to relay it back and let them know where Joe asks. It's like, it's just been a whole bunch of bullshit. Oh, and on top of that, I think it was like Thursday. 
so I forgot what day it was, y'all, but um, they accidentally turned off my water on my circuit breaker. So guess who didn't fucking have water one night after the gym? It was like cold, so I had to take a cold shower. Y'all, it just really been a lot of bullshit that I've been going through this week. But the grace of God, I'm still here. I'm still standing this small shit to a giant. It's gonna work out and I'm gonna get over it. But it just it's just been a lot this week on my mental. So yeah, y'all. I know it's been a mouthful. I probably was rambling in circles, but that's everything I'm going through. AC insulator wrong, leakage in the bedroom, and people not taking ownership um, for what they have done wrong, basically, in a nutshell. Right now, I am up early, y'all. I am on my way to this warehouse. It's a warehouse where I stay at and y'all supposedly they have $8 iPads and it's a big warehouse so $8 iPads, $8 computers, just like a whole bunch of, it's a whole, it's a warehouse with a whole bunch of different stuff. So, um, that was police. So we're on our way there to see if we can find us an $8 iPad because I know I've been one one and I was like, well, that'll be good too because then I can see what else they have. So I'm bringing y'all with me and then on top of, oh, this is sophomore. I'm bringing y'all with me and then on top of that, um, I brought gloves and stuff just in case I have to go through bins. I am late. I tried to be here at exactly eight o'clock. It is 8.08 and I arrive at 8.17. So it's like, it was only like 14 minutes away from my house um so that's a good thing but i wanted to be here on time but of course y'all know me lollygagging doing whatever i um i'm never on time for shit i'll probably not gonna be on time for my funeral if i wasn't fucking dead for real whenever that's <laughs> because i'm just late for fucking everything i feel like but i, I am working on time management so on my way to the pawn, I'm pawn shop. I see a pawn shop right here. On my way to the warehouse to see what they have. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to bounce today, y'all. Um, the last time I went to bounce, y'all, she canceled and didn't tell me. And y'all know I had drove all the way out there, so I kind of been like irritated by that. So last weekend I didn't go because I was at the Judy event. This weekend I'm not going just because I just don't want to. Um, we are, however, going to go to Linda's like around 11, so we have three hours into that, and then we also have a um, hair appointment at one to get my lock detached back and just like a fresh retwist. So we do got that going on today. Other than that, we don't have anything going on. I wanted to take Joe on a date. Um, but I'm not sure where to or whatever. I asked him some, somewhere he wants to go, like dinner, and this man never know. Like he really wants me to plan everything, which I understand. Like sometimes I do plan. So I'll just come up with something or not, depending on how my money is. Because y'all just have a lot of stuff financially. I feel like a lot of money is going out and little money is coming in at this point. Um, just because of everything I got going on. And then, what else? I'm trying to make sure I catch y'all up on everything that's going on this week. Oh, the good thing about it too, my birthday trip stuff is coming along really, really good. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and yeah, I really can't think of anything else that's been going on. Y'all know, y'all know my life is a fucking movie. But yeah, that's it. That's it. So um, I'll let y'all know once I pull up to this fucking warehouse. Y'all, long story short, I was only in there for like ten minutes. That was a waste of my goddamn getting up out of my bed and in my car. Oh God, Jesus! <laughs> I gotta stop going. I ain't even bring y'all out because it was so small in there. And then what they talking about? Oh, you gotta find a box, a small box that say Chromebook or that say my bad, that say Chromebook or that say iPad or something. I'm like, man, who got time to be 
Looking for a little ass box under all this shit y'all got in here. No, thank you. And that's probably why a lot of people weren't in there either. Because, like, what the fuck is this? All right, y'all. Let me get, let's go back home. Did we want to go get something to eat? Hold on. Let me hold on, y'all. Y'all, I made it back home. I got into bed. My mood instantly just. I don't know. I just want to lay down. I'm tired. Like, I woke up early to go to that bullshit and was only there for 10 minutes. Like, I could have still been asleep. And now I'm just back in the bed watching TV. I was. I had fold, started folding clothes last night. I guess I'll just get around to it when I can. Probably after I get my hair done and stuff. But, yeah. Outfit of the day. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. So I am back in the car. Um, we're getting ready to go get our hair done. It's still early. It's like 1140. And my hair appointment is now until 1. But we're going to go ahead and stop at Starbucks. Um, to get us a little something to eat a little something to drink give me some energy so just wanted to get on here and let y'all know i'm back out in these streets on this good saturday it feel good i said too y'all i'm back in the streets so um yeah i'll let y'all know once i get to my hair appointment because it is like 40 minutes away y'all know y'all probably forgot because i told y'all earlier this week but this is no. where I cut my lock. <laughs> and T got it. Look how long it was, y'all. <laughs> so she about to put it back on. Put it back on. Period. And voila, back on that like new. Correct. Y'all see how long that lock is though? It's on there. Yes. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just made it to Linda's. Y'all, I got my hair retwisted, but I didn't get no style. I just let her rock. I, I just like, let me just rock out natural and no style. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Y'all, why I been in this lady store for two hours? I was supposed to be in and out, y'all. It always goes to me helping customers, talking to customers, getting instagram followers like man i literally be in here all day like it's a saturday and it's about to be six o'clock and i'm still not at home but just wanted to let y'all know i am on my way home um y'all know i was supposed to take joe on a date but i didn't plan anything and i don't want to rush it so i told him we can go anywhere he want to go so he said he want to go bowling and then he want to go to the hookah place which is fine with me i can save some money so um we're on our way back home now and that's the inventory falling so i'll let y'all know when i get home Y'all know I done came home and my boo done got me some gifts. I'm just so slammed. Let me show y'all what I got. Oh my god. <laughs> look at him. Y'all look. This is the only thing I opened so far. Can I call you Rose? This is so cute. Gotta take it out. It's cute. Portable mini printer. Hmm. Three in one fasting charger. What is this? A table mirror. Oh, for when I do my makeup. That's cute, babe. Look like some clothes, y'all. Let's open it. A charger. 
<laughs> Why I seen you have put this on uh, Facebook talking about let me get this one minute. <laughs> That's not it though. I had already bought this. I need to get you the other one. I bought this so you can have another gym bag. Oh. Thank you, babe. I love you. Hey, y'all. Y'all. I am so happy like coming in to like random gifts. Like that's really one of my love languages. Like I love that man. Got this little necklace that I absolutely love. He always giving me like jewelry and stuff, so I love it. Got two pairs of like pajamas. Got this mirror to do my makeup that light up. Um, got some. I ain't show y'all the. It's just like some um, slides to wear around the house. Uh, I got a portable printer. Um, I got a ch new charger. Um, what else he have on that bed, y'all? It was so many like just random items. I think I'm missing something. The printer, the mirror, pajamas, necklace, charger. I think that's everything. But yeah, y'all, I'm so happy. Um, we gonna leave in a few, but I wanted to warm me up some food. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm about to warm me up some food, some chicken strips that I cooked yesterday, like last night. Yeah, I was up at like um. What time I started cooking? Like nine yesterday. That's what I'm about to do. And then we gonna leave out. But anyways, y'all, I'll let y'all know once we get dressed. And well, I'm probably gonna keep this on because we ain't doing nothing but going bowling and probably like smoke hookah. So I'll let y'all know. Y'all, we came out to smoke Guess who has the hookah? <laughs> Look how I show y'all. That was young, tan so. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I am back at home, showered, in the bed, honey. I'm going to end off this portion of the vlog. Y'all, please make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and share with a friend or family member. Um, I don't know how long this vlog was. I'm hoping I gave y'all some type of footage, y'all. But y'all know what I've been through these last couple of weeks um, with the A AC unit and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next one. Hey, look here, look here. First of all, I want to welcome all y'all broke ass entrepreneurs to the Players Club. DJ 